Hey hi hello welcome to another video in this video we'll be talking about group by in clicksense but the concept would be similar in sql as well group by is useful when you want to summarize or aggregate the data set in hand so let's try to understand the data set what we have for today's video this data set is from an organization which sells different products to its end users so the columns what we have is invoice number uh, like in like you can see every invoice have multiple records here because within a single invoice you can purchase multiple products that is stock code uh, this for every product uh, stock code would be unique so for example here in description we have name of that product and uh, we have a code associated to that product okay and quantity is how much uh, in how much quantity that product was bought so for an example in the within this invoice right um, uh, this white hanging heart uh, holder was brought uh, brought six times like six six uh, units of this product was brought on this date and then there is a unit price unit price is a uh, price of a single uh, single holder like uh, it, it cost nearly 2.55 okay so and then we have the customer id the customer who brought it then the country name of uh, like of where does the customer resides okay uh, so basically now what we have is um, quantity and unit price right of also we would need to understand what is the total amount so like uh, basically what was paid by the user for this transaction right so to understand that what we need to do is we need to multiply the quantity with the unit price okay so i'll, I'll we'll, we'll do that in clicksins and yeah so as always like i've taken a subset uh, just so like i can uh, i can explain you first of all uh, what group by does in the back end like once you perform a group by right what kind of output you can expect so first of all this is a subset like as, as similar to the previous data set what we had i have taken like six invoices uh, we have uh, uh, the products what were sold we have the quantities uh, what was brought in that uh, as well as we have date we have the price at what it was brought and we have customer id and country id okay so whenever you do a group by right uh, whenever you summarize the data set basically a uh, group by is also one of a uh, good optimization technique uh, which is very less known and within click sense like uh, if you if uh, basically the way or like uh, when you remove the columns right the memory is saved within a for an application similarly you can uh, by reducing the number of records within a data set right you can uh, you can uh, reduce the size of the application in that way the application can perform well so so yeah group by is one of the optimization technique but but it is not very well uh, said uh, like for an example within the community posts or like within different blocks so let's let's get into group by so first of all i'll what i'll do is i'll uh, we'll first of all try to understand for every country right every country uh, what what are the uh like what what are the amounts sold like what are the sales done of, for every country pass to, to to understand that right first we will need a column called as amount okay and amount would be quantity into unit price i hope we are clear till here okay now to understand a country wise right i'll copy country And I'll copy. I'll 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 not copy amount for now. So I'll copy country. Okay. Let me scroll this. Okay. Now now what happens is within a group by right. So for an example, when you want to group by the data set based upon uh, summarize the data set based upon the country. So what happens is, uh, first of all, uh, uh, it it will only have the distinct records for that country right it will remove all the duplicates number of duplicates basically like the end result will have only three records okay and now we'll have our amount for amount we'll have sum if uh, this range we have united kingdom comma what is this range to some okay 
so basically what what i have done is right so so when you are summarizing so you will use an aggregating aggregation function so for in this case i am using sum as an aggregation function because we want to understand what are the sales done within united kingdom right so for that i'll be using a sum function so that part i'll show within script how to write and all but i uh, just try to understand when you group by right from this data set and uh, add uh, on the level of country so you then result what you get is three record why three records because within a group by what happens is like for every every uh, uh, column based upon what you are doing that group by right it will have a distinct record for that okay so in this case we have three cunt uh, three uh distinct countries so we have three records and what happens is or like it will sum up for an example of united kingdom there are two records this is 22.2 and then it will see here wh wh where where all united kingdom sales have been done and it will sum that numbers and it will show up so this is us uh, this is the result when you summarize based upon country okay uh also let's try to understand the syntax right away so that uh, you you are you would feel comfortable this is the script uh, what we have and I'll, I'll quickly show you the data set what we have how it looks within click sense so for now what i have done is i have taken country I have taken description I have taken the amount and i have not used any kind of like i have not added a measure right so basically i'm not summarizing it i'll remove the description from here okay now within click sense to summarize this right what you need to do is you will remove all all unrequired columns so we need to understand this uh country level sales what we have done right and then we would need to uh, uh we would uh to understand the amount right so we need to uh, multiply unit price price of single unit and with uh, quantity it was brought in right uh and also also to do the uh, do the group by right you would need to give an aggregation function to it that would be sum okay and and you would need to write group by after your resident here if it was from after your from right now it is after resident right you would write a group by and you would need to specify the dimension you won't specify the columns within aggregation function you would specify any other columns which are not within aggregation function you need to add here like group by so basically it will it will take only the distinct records in the country field then and then what will happen is it will summarize the amount basically it will sum all the amounts so when you uh, when i click on load now so what will happen is the end result what i will have right will have only two columns country and amount see and we have only like uh, I'll, I'll take you to the data model as well to see the number of records here as you can see we have only 38 records so basically we had 38 countries within our data set that's why we have 38 records and all the summarization for an example what sale united kingdom has done we can we can see that uh, right now we did uh, the summarization of the data set at a single level that is at the country level now let's also add one more flavor to it like uh, let's do it on the product as well so basically now what we are trying to understand is for ev within every single country what products are sold and for that product how much sales had we done within that country itself okay so to understand that what i'll do is i'll also include not the quantity we need description description column here and i'll add a comma and if i reload this load this now right what will happen is it will give me an error because we have specified two levels of group by here within within the load statement but we are not uh, having the second column within the group by statement so always remember other than aggregation function and when i say aggregation that is this function sum so uh, there are different types of aggregation function the question for this video as always i always attend to ask a question within a video so for uh, your work for for this video is try to specify as many aggregation function as you know in the comment section below and if you don't know try to research it after a week i'll i'll write the i'll try to specify all the aggregation functions within click 
within the comment section below but in the meantime try to try to do it on your own and try to comment them okay and and as i was saying right or you what you need to do is you need to come uh, you need to add all the uh, all the non aggregation function related columns right in the group by section so for an example i have country and also i need to write description so now what result i will have is for every country what products were sold i'll, I'll have that and and for that that product sold right what uh, sale had we done now you see we have now after doing this summarization we have 20000 records we have 5 lakh records that is 541k records initially now we have 20k records okay let me quickly add the description as well in this chart that is the name of the product okay so now now uh, for every like as you can see for every country we have the uh, product what was sold and how much uh, sale what we have done okay so let me uh, do this and let me select united kingdom here uh, just so you understand so for uh, in united kingdom we have sold amazon fee uh, this is a this is a product let's take uh, take that one. this is a product and then what we have done is we have done a negative sale of nearly um uh, 221k okay this is a dummy data set so yeah that's that's how it is in the data set but yeah so basically for every every uh, country within the data set will uh, will have uh, for that country will have the product what was sold within that country and then sale what is done so this is how it also helps in optimization so basically it reduces the number of record because let's take for an example instead of loading all these columns right we we reduce that number of columns first of all that we do for an optimization and now when you do the group by as well right for an example we are just let's take when the model we are associating it based upon country and uh, the product and try to understanding only the sale what we have done then we don't need other columns right so we can summarize the data set basically uh, by doing this right you reduce the number of records and uh, your application performs well because the number of uh, records it has to uh, search and like produce the result right it is lower i hope uh, the concept of group by was understood and you would uh, comment the aggregation function as i asked before like uh, the different aggregation functions within collections in the comment section below and yeah if you found this video informative do hit on the like button i'll be soon adding some advanced set expression videos so for that make sure you subscribe until next time have a good time